From the tiniest of lemurs to venomous snakes and more, here are 18 of the most amazing wildlife found only in Madagascar. Number 18. Ai Lemur If there's one thing for which Madagascar is famous, it must be lemurs. It's the only place on earth where you'll find these primates living in the wild. And perhaps one of the scariest looking critters is the Ai. If you don't know its name, you'll certainly remember its distinctive face. Natives believe that if you come across this animal, it means that someone soon is going to die, and it's a bad omen. I mean, the poor thing does look a little demonic, but its appearance often leads to it getting killed. It has a long, thin, alien-like middle finger and teeth that grow forever like a rodent. It uses its middle finger to tap on trees to find grubs and then pull them out. The I.I. has been hunted for many years and is now on the endangered species list. Due to their appearance and ancient beliefs, they are feared. However, they are harmless. Fun fact, they're the only primates believed to use echolocation. Number 17. Ghost Snake Researchers found a new species of cat-eyed snake on a path inside the isolated Ancorona National Park of Madagascar. And due to the critter's pale grey coloration, it was named the ghost snake. Cat-eyed snakes have vertical pupils and are more commonly found in developed areas. Experts say they've never seen a cat-eyed snake with such unusual coloration or distinct patterns. While the pale coloration would seem to make it a target, scientists think it might help the reptile to escape predators. Analysis has confirmed the ghost snake is a distinct species, but more research is pending. So far, it's the only one of its kind found. Number 16. Traveller's Palm This is one of Madagascar's most famous species of endemic plants, and it's difficult to overlook because it grows some 23 feet high. Distinguished by huge, paddle-shaped leaves and a fan-like arrangement, its large white flowers produce blue seeds when pollinated. The common name has a couple of explanations. The plant's stems allegedly hold rainwater, which can be used as an emergency reservoir for weary travellers. Another explanation is that the plant serves as a primitive compass, because the plant's fan shape is aligned with an east-west direction. FYI, we're told that the water inside the plant should never be consumed without first being purified. Number 15. Black and White Ruffed Lemur This next fluffy animal is probably familiar from the Madagascar movies, but of course there's more to the lemur than just dancing around the rainforest making jokes. In some ways they're quite mysterious in that not much is known about how they're distributed across their habitats. You can find them in Madagascar's eastern rainforest, as well as on an island with a really cool name, Nosy Mangabe. The black and white ruffled variety is also one large lemur. It can weigh up to 9 pounds and is among the biggest of its species. But one of the best things about this not so little lemur is the way it helps its environment by spreading pollen. When they feed, pollen is attached to those ruffs on their faces. When they move on to the next tree, the pollen goes with them. They play a very important role in Madagascar's ecosystem and are considered critically endangered. Number 14. Pygmy Mouse Lemur At a mere 5 inches long and weighing only 2 ounces, these animals are recognised as the world's second smaller species of mouse lemurs. Also known as the Peter's Mouse Lemur, they were discovered by the Western world in Madagascar in 1993. Its minimal size made it difficult to locate for more than a century. They live in groups of around 15 and can jump nimbly from tree to tree. Not much is known about them, but they're severely threatened due to their cuteness. Many people want them as pets and getting captured and losing their limited habitat is severely hurting this animal as well as most of the animals in Madagascar. Number 13. Leaf Nose Snake it almost looks like it should be called a spear-nosed snake due to its odd nasal appendages that sprout from their faces. That's one way to tell the females from the males. The females have nasal protrusions that are more serrated and complex. The male's protrusions are pointier and longer. These snakes like to hang from branches high in the trees where they can ambush prey, and their noses play a major role in this. The snake's appendage resembles the leaves or seed pods that some arboreal lizards feed on. As the snakes lay camouflage, they can easily strike before their meal escapes. And now for number 12, but first be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know your favourite animal from Madagascar in the comments below. Number 12. Prehistoric Groundhogs Punk Satorni Phil is known for giving his annual weather prognostication every February 2nd. 
more than 60 million years ago, his distant ancestor, Vintana, was known for being one of the largest mammals found in its era. Its fossils have been found in Madagascar, although there's still a lot to learn about them. Scientists estimate this animal would have weighed about 20 pounds. Considering that the biggest modern groundhogs weigh in at around 14 pounds, these ancient animals would have cast a much larger shadow. Number 11. Singi National Park This one is neither plant nor animal, but it earns a spot thanks to its unique nature. And this location does contain some unique plant and animal life too. In western Madagascar, you'll find one of the world's largest stone forests. Known as the immense Grand Singi, it's a labyrinth of water-eroded limestone structures that rise some 300 feet and are razor sharp. The area extends for around 230 square miles in the isolated western portion of the country. Experts say the unusual formations are the result of tropical rain eroding the limestone over time and forming those razor sharp pinnacles. Despite the inhospitable appearance, many animals call the isolated region home. Safaka lemurs, identified by their distinct panda-like coloration, can be found here. In addition, you'll find the ring-tailed mongoose, nearly 50 species of reptiles, various plant life, and more than 100 species of birds. Number 10. Giraffe Weevil This critter looks like the result of a Photoshop session, but the giraffe weevil is native to Madagascar, and it's easy enough to see the resemblance to its much larger namesake. It was only discovered in 2008 and is still something of a mystery. You might think the insect's long neck is used for foraging food, but it's really used for combat. The necks of males are up to three times longer than females and enable them to aggressively fight for mates. The bright, vibrant red shell not only covers the insect's wings, it also serves to warn off competitors. Number 9. Tomato Frogs This amphibian doesn't possess that bright, vibrant hue just for show. Its bright coloration is a warning for predators to keep their distance. If a predator still isn't convinced, the frog will puff out its body as a warning. And if all that doesn't work, then the frog will secrete a thick toxin that gums up the eyes and mouth of whatever predator catches them. That's usually enough to set the frog free. Did you know that only the females display this vivid coloration? The males usually have a brownish orange color that's more drab. Number 8. flat tail Geckos these reptiles are found in the eastern part of Madagascar, along with nearby islands. Growing to about 13 inches, they're strictly nocturnal animals due to their light-sensitive eyes. Although they can see colours at night, their eyes are about 350 times more sensitive to light than human eyes. During the day, they'll stick to small tree trunks to rest. You know if their sleep time is disturbed, scientists say that these geckos will open its mouth wide and scream. Number 7. Hissing Cockroaches You'll find one of the world's largest species of cockroach in Madagascar. Assuming you really want to find them, that is. Growing to about 3 inches at maturity, they're often found inside rotting logs. There are about 20 species of these big hissing roaches, and unlike most of their brethren, these insects are wingless. The hissing noise is created by forcefully expelling air through small openings in their body segments. The sounds can be used for purposes of attracting mates or to signal disturbance. Not surprisingly, their hissing ability has made these insects very popular in the pet trade. Number 6. Panther Chameleon Why does the common name of this reptile refer to a cat? Because when they were first described in the 19th century, the chameleon's spotted pattern was reminiscent of a leopard or panther. These specimens can display unusually vibrant hues and that's especially true for males when they're courting. Their coloration can also disclose what part of the country they come from. Scientists have noted that specimens from the northwest parts of Madagascar display a coloration that is reddish or pink. So those animals are often nicknamed pink panthers. Many other patterns and colors will occur within and between regions. This species is also known for having an extremely long tongue. There's a club-like structure at the tip which is covered in thick mucus and forms a suction cup. Once the tip has adhered to prey, it is rapidly reeled back into the reptile's mouth where its powerful jaws crush and consume it. Number 5. Avenue of Baobabs The baobab tree has 9 species and 6 of them are native to Madagascar. 
They're noted for their unusual shape and can reach heights of nearly 100 feet. In the western part of Madagascar, there's a famous display of these trees lining a dirt road. It's known as the Avenue of Baobabs and runs more than 850 feet. Experts say the trees once stood in a dense forest. As the country's population expanded, the forest was cleared for agricultural purposes, but the locals preserved the baobabs for their value as a source of building materials and a food source. The trees bear a large, dry fruit that contains an edible pulp and seeds, and its bark is made of long, tough fibres that are used for making rope. Number 4. Madame Berta's House Lima like I mentioned before, the pygmy marmoset is the world's second smallest primate. For those of you who guessed, Madame Bertie's mouse lemur, or Bertie's lemur for short, is number one. This little guy is less than 100mm long and weighs only 30 grams. Bertie's lemur resides mainly in Karindi Matia National Park, located in western Madagascar. This nocturnal species has very large eyes to help it see at night. It was only recently discovered in 1992 and was only categorized as its own species as recently as the year 2000. Everyone at first confused it with the pygmy lemur. The tiny lemur eats fruit, chameleons and honeydew from larvae. Because of their small stature, Bertie's lemurs are vulnerable to predators, including humans, who are degrading its habitat via the illegal logging industry. Deforestation has severely affected them, and they're listed as endangered, at best. While they are cute, scientists advise people to keep bare skin away from them because they can be fierce. Number 3. Amazing Arachnids Darwin's bark spiders first made news in 2009 when it was discovered they spin the world's largest spider webs. This species of orb weaver spider has since become known for the engineering skills possessed by the tiny females. They can shoot strands of silk in continuous flows that form bridges across the water to catch insects like mayflies. The epic orb webs can measure about 6 feet wide, while spanning some 80 feet over rivers. Researchers say the webs remain stable over such long distances because the spider silk is stronger than steel. The silk has the potential to be one of the world's strongest biological materials and might even be comparable to Kevlar. Number 2. Brookasia micra chameleon Minuscule enough to fit on the tip of a match head, this is the smallest known chameleon. At a mere 1.1 inches, it also places among the smallest vertebrates overall. It was found on a small remote island located in the Nosihara archipelago off the Madagascar coastline sometime between 2003 and 2007, and was only described in 2012. Number 1. The Fussa Is it a dog? Is it a cat? Experts say that even though the fussa has a snout that appears canine and a body that appears feline, they're closely related to mongooses and belong to that family. These nocturnal beasts are one of the few predators that are native to Madagascar. Adult specimens can measure around 19 pounds and grow to about 6.5 feet long. Their tails make them extremely agile and can be nearly as long as their body. When they come out at night, they feed on birds and reptiles but they have an extremely strong appetite for lemurs, which comprise more than half of the fusses' diet. When fusses were portrayed in the movie Madagascar as being feared by lemurs, that description was spot on. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments below if you're as crazy about Madagascar as we are.